Hey guys, Steve here and welcome to another Harbour Unboxed video. Today Matt isn't with us, he's a little busy with a few other things, so I've stepped in, or rather sat down, to take care of Samsung's latest and greatest SSD. Speaking of which, do you find that today's PCI Express SSDs are just a tad too slow? Well, of course you do. What am I saying? Sequential read speeds of up to 2.5 gigabytes per second? Write speeds that are even less? Come on guys, this is 2016. Thankfully, someone has stood up and addressed this bandwidth crisis. Our saviour, once again, is Samsung. Forget about those lousy 2.5 gigabytes per second read speeds. If you aren't pushing over 3 gigs, you might as well have a hard drive. Okay, so I'm being a tad overdramatic here. Still, it's hard not to take the mickey when you see consumer grade storage devices capable of 3.5 gigabytes per second for the reads, coupled with 2.1 gigabytes per second write speeds. That's right, these are the advertised sequential read and write speeds for Samsung's new 960 Pro series. Replacing the now year-old 950 Pro series, enthusiasts can look forward to much faster, much larger M2 drives from Samsung. This new series is powered by the Samsung Polaris controller, which, other than the codename, has no relationship with AMD's Polaris graphics architecture. When compared to the 950 Pro's UBX controller, which featured three cores, Polaris has been beefed up to pack five cores. One of the five cores has been dedicated to host communication, while the other four cores are used for flash management. Coupled with this new controller is Samsung's latest third generation VNAND flash technology. Also known as 3D NAND, it dramatically increases the number of layers present in each chip by stacking them vertically, thus increasing capacity without having to reduce the size of the fabrication process. The 950 series used 32 layered NAND, while the 960 has been bumped up to 48 layers, enabling Samsung to offer the spacious 2TB version. With real estate at a premium here, Samsung has employed an advanced packaging technology known as Package on Package. By stacking the DRAM cage on top of the controller, Samsung has freed up valuable PCB space for four NAND flash chips. However, packaging these densely together can cause other issues. One such issue faced by the 950 Pro Series, for example, was heat. Under heavy load, the 950 Pro Series did run a little hot, forcing the controller to scale back, which ultimately reduced performance. In the case of the new 960 Pro Series, Samsung has taken several measures to reduce the regularity of thermal throttling. One such step was to include a small copper film heat spreader, which is estimated by Samsung to improve thermal performance by around 30%. Also helping to address this issue is improved power efficiency. This is probably the biggest factor at play here. These things combined should see the 960 Pro last around 50% longer under load before throttling can be seen. Lasting 50% longer is one thing. It is also worth noting that in this time, the 960 Pro is able to transfer almost twice as much data, so the chances of it throttling are greatly diminished. Samsung claims under typical load, the 2TB drive will consume 5.8 watts, 5.3 watts for the 1TB model and 5.1 watts for the 512GB model. Those are similar ratings to the 950 Pro series, though of course we are talking about a much faster drive here, so it's fair to say efficiency has been improved. For data security, hardware-based AES 256-bit data encryption is supported along with TCG Opal, while other features such as trim, garbage collection and smart are also supported. Lastly, I should just note that the 960 Pro Series comes with the same 5-year warranty as the 950 Pro Series. Also, the endurance rating for the 2TB model has been set at a massive 1,200TB of written data, 800TB of written data for the 1TB version, and 400TB of written data for the pokey little 512GB model. Okay, that all sounds mighty impressive, but how does it really perform? Well, let's go find out, shall we? First, let's take a look at the sequential read and write performance with AS SSD Benchmark. The 960 Pro looks pretty mighty here, reaching 2.7 gigabytes per second for the read and 2 gigabytes per second for the write. Compared to the 950 Pro, this makes the 960 Pro roughly 25% faster for the read test and a little over 40% faster for the write test, so impressive stuff here. The 960 Pro absolutely blitzed the 4K 64 thread test and it was the write performance that was again the most impressive. Reaching almost 1.3 gigabytes per second, the 960 Pro is 80% faster than Intel's SSD 750 series, and a little over three times faster than the 950 Pro. Given what we just saw, I was expecting to see slightly better access performance, especially given what the 950 Pro produced. Still, the performance here is solid and the 960 Pro is far from slow. 
Using two different data sets comprised of multiple files, we measured on-disk copy performance. The game data, which features a mixture of small and large compressed and non-compressed files, allowed the 960 Pro to move an incredible 1,094 megabytes per second. That is a staggering 68% performance improvement over the 950 Pro. Although the 960 Pro only managed a throughput of 542 megabytes per second for the program test, which is compromised of many small, non-compressed files, it was still over 60% faster than the 950 Pro. Okay, so the last test we're going to look at is the large file extraction test using 7-zip. Here we have measured the time it takes to complete the file extraction along with the average transfer speed. The 950 Pro extracted the data at a rate of 972 megabytes per second, which was 28% faster than the 950 Pro and 91% faster than the Intel SSD 750 series. It was also almost five times faster than a high performance SATA SSD, such as the 850 Pro. This meant the test took just 39 seconds using the 960 Pro, whereas the best SATA SSD takes over three minutes. As expected, Samsung's latest flagship M2 NVMe SSD is fast. Very fast. Performance-wise, it's a good step forward from the previous 950 Pro series, though most owners won't feel the need to rush out and upgrade just yet, as Samsung's last season M2 drives are still very capable. On the other hand, enthusiasts looking to build a brand new system or are just in need of a new SSD, well, then you're in luck. As it stands, there's no better option for those seeking maximum performance. Pricing starts at $330 for the 512GB model and rises as high as $1300 for the 2TB version. And yes, we are talking US dollars for these MSRPs. The 1TB model that I have costs a cool $630, or $0.61 cents per gigabyte, the exact same cost per gigabyte as the 512GB model of the 950 Pro. At this stage, Aussie pricing isn't yet clear. A direct currency conversion places the one terabyte model at around $830. And well, this makes sense as it's roughly twice the price as the 950 Pro 512 gigabyte model. So what do you guys think? Is the 960 Pro fast enough to justify the price? Please be sure to give us your thoughts and feelings below in the comments. This has been Steve from Harbour Unboxed and hopefully I've done a good enough job sitting in for Matt on this one. If I have, I'll see you guys next time. To those of you that already support the channel, thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. And to those of you that would like to support the channel directly, I do have Amazon links and a Patreon link in the video description below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.